This is a tutorial on how to draw a clown. So I'm gonna start by holding my paper the tall vertical way so that I have enough room to draw my clown. And then somewhere near the top and center, right around here, I'm gonna do the head. So I'm gonna start off by doing an upside down U for the top of the head and then the bottom as big as I want it. Definitely want some hair. And I like my hair to be nice and poofy for my clown, sort of like that. Definitely need the neck wide enough to hold that head, the arms out and about, right? Definitely need some fingers and generally they have five. So one, two, three, four, five, bringing that down. Arm that way, same thing on the other side curving it out. And you can really draw your arms whatever way you want. I just like my clown's arms to be nice and happy and up, sort of like that. And then the sleeves to come down. Then I can go ahead and draw the top part of the torso down. And here you can really have a lot of fun with what your clown wears. Typically, they have lots of different patterns and designs. Maybe you can even switch it up as you go from side to side. It doesn't have to be consistent. So for example, I could do uh, a zigzag pattern on this side. And all the way across. And I can change it up and do polka dots for this side. Way around. I like to give my clown very poofy pants because I think it adds to their character. So I'm going to go ahead and make this nice and wide, kind of curving my lines towards each other. So that one curving like this, this one curving like this. And I can even unite them at the bottom. And then we definitely want to give our clown some big shoes, right? Because that's sort of what they're known for. So big round shoes. I can even curve it in a little bit just like that. I can add some laces. And it's up to you on how many or how much detail you want to add onto the shoes. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Some big clown shoes, just like that. You could even add some stripes to the pants, right? And my clown is really going to come together when I start adding uh, some color because you cannot have a clown without color. Right, so maybe the hair will be rainbow. I can go ahead and add smaller features onto the face. Uh, they usually always look very happy. So I'm gonna have some smiley eyes just like this, maybe even some designs on the face because clowns often have lots of different face paints going on, just like this, the typical clown nose. And then they usually have a smile, right, from their own mouth, but they often draw on a bigger smile. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to draw on that bigger kind of smile that the clown usually has on them. You can add ears if you'd like um, or you can keep them hidden behind the hair. And there you go. You have your clown.